welcome to the January 2011 Curriculum Connection. I'm Medford's Curriculum Director, Laura Lundy. Technology, a word we use every day, but have you ever tried to define it? Technically, anything that is a tool, real or digital, can be considered technology. The difference comes in whether that tool is high-tech or low-tech. In the Medford schools, teachers are always looking for the latest high-tech technology because of the motivational factor. Both students and teachers agree that a new method of doing the same thing always adds extra motivation, which is something that really affects the learning process. The iPad definitely motivates my students um, in my pull-out classes. For example, in math, um, instead of doing our workbooks that have the facts practice time tests, uh, we will pull out our iPads and do a math facts that's an app based and beforehand they would grunt and groan to go to their math books and now they're excited they do their math facts on here and I've seen an increase in their scores before they were getting like in the 70s percent now they're getting 100 percent because they're using the iPads and they're excited about doing their math program. This week in Kelly Ray's fifth grade classroom students have a very traditional assignment answer questions about a book they are reading the difference is in the way they are doing it. Right now we're working on a reading project. We are reading Dear Mr. Henshaw by Beverly Cleary and so we're told to respond to Mrs. Ray in the format that the book is written. We get to blog to Mrs. Ray and talk to her and we, get, we don't have to write it on paper. We can just type it. Well we just set up last week our classroom blog and it's the first time that I've done it too so it's kind of interesting. But um, each student has an account and I pose a question based on the lesson for the day and instead of going home and doing their homework on paper, they can use the iPads in the classroom or if they have internet access at home to write a comment back to me. And so far what I've seen is a lot of um, communication between the students which is nice to get them talking about the topic. Students in Chris Brantner's elementary class agree. Sorting virtual flashcards on the iPad is much more exciting than using the boring paper ones. And do you like the iPad? Yeah, it's, you can do tons of things. It's a miracle when things are disguised as fun, how much more work you can get out of your students. Whether it is iPads or flip cameras, students love being able to work with the newest technology. While filming this documentary, I came across three 7th grade girls who are using a flip camera for social studies. Instead of giving a written report on the Himalayas, this group was creating a movie. Why do students like using iPads, flip Would cameras, and blogs better than the old ways? Report. It all comes right. down to one thing. Why? It's more fun. They enjoy it. It's fun. They don't, they don't see it as homework. Teachers, however, see technology such as the iPad and its apps as more than just fun. They see it as a way to be more mobile and to be more interactive with students. This one is on um, mitosis. And what I did with the mitosis one is I used the images. And this has been really nice to walk around with the students. I can quickly go through these images and they're the same microscope slide that I have. I can say, let's take a look, like this one would be, right here, would be metaphase. So if, if they're struggling looking at metaphase through the microscope, I can show them quickly, this is what, something you should be looking at. That it also has a um, quiz on it, test yourself, and I've had students go through it. And the cool thing about these iPads, it's not a computer and it's not a book. It's, it's so much more interactive. Another advantage of the iPad are the applications or apps that are available. Mrs. Nystrom has found apps of updated versions of software her students are currently using, such as Dragon Dictation. When Dragon Dictation is on a standalone computer, it is not very user friendly. However, on an iPad, Dragon Dictation is as mobile as a notebook and therefore can be used by students immediately during class. Then they had to put in their own speech and it had to get used to their speech and it was a lengthy process. Now there's an app on the iPad that's called Dragon Dictation and it's a text, it's a speech to text application. So what you would do, I have students that are in a science class and they need to take notes but it's hard for them to take notes. They can just tap. There are four states of matter, period. Record and then it shows up for them right here in a sentence. Wikipedia defines technology as tools that help solve real-world problems. One problem that FIA teachers have is their inability to record grades and take attendance while away from their desktop computer. The iPad has solved this problem. Through the PEP grant, each FIA teacher now has an iPad with the internet, giving them access to these programs while out on the field 
or at off-site places such as the bowling alley. Unlike a lot of other classroom teachers, we're not at our desk and our students can't always come in here and check their grades, so this is a way that we can communicate grades with students and, um, and do any kind of computer work without being sitting at our desk in a locker room. I use the iPad mostly for um, taking attendance and I can look up Skyward on there, my grades. I would always hand write things and then come back and type it up, so it definitely has saved that step is, is huge for me. Unfortunately, technology is like fashion. It is constantly changing, and when last year's model is no longer fashionable, students will want something different. A few years ago, technology was PowerPoints shown from an overhead projector. Today's technology is iPads and flip cameras. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? For Curriculum Connection, I'm Laura Lundy.